thank you for your kindness in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, your mercy, that they are new every morning. Your mercies, they endure forever. Your mercy, triumph over judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Confess with me, every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord of all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give your Lord a hand. Amen. <clears throat> the Bible says, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord of all. Amen. Confess with me again. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord of all. Give him a hand. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you. Sit a minute, please. Um, I, 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 let's review what the Lord is saying to us. We see what the Lord has done. To, done. The Lord is meeting everyone on, on, on their own level. Amen. The Lord is ready to meet every person on his level, but not to leave him on that level at all. Amen. Not to leave him on that level at all. Amen. And I've explained to you where God has met Abram. Don't you think that Abram was a nice guy when God has called him, but his heart saved him. Give God a hand for his heart. <laughs> Sometimes you believe you do certain things, and it is wrong, but you do not know they are wrong. But your heart is the one that saved you. Give God a hand. <laughs> so sometimes people do things because of their background, because of the way they've been taught. I mean, they think it's okay to do that thing because they've been taught that way. Their fathers have raised them that way. Their mothers have raised them that way. They think it's the correct thing to do till the conviction of the Holy Spirit come upon them. When does the Holy Spirit conviction come upon them? When a preacher preach, I mean, I mean, faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word. Say hearing God's word. Very interesting, hearing God's word. You know what? If you read God's word without the Holy Spirit, it's not going to speak to you. That's why many people, they read the Bible all their lives. They grew up with the Bible, but they never got saved. Why? I mean, they read the Bible. It's God's word. They never got saved. But then one day, someone preached to them and they got saved. How's it working? Faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word. God's word is not the Bible next to your bed. God's word is the Bible living in someone's heart. Give God a hand. No one is going to get saved by reading the Bible only. This Bible, God used people. I mean, he does not use paper. Say to God next to you, God used people. He decided on earth that he's going to use people. That is his choice. He decided that we as people will be his fellow workers on earth. He gave authority on the earth. Why? How does it work that God will use people on the earth? Why doesn't he use angels? You tell me, please. Why doesn't he use angels to evangelize and to win people to Jesus? Because he did not give authority on the earth to angels, but to Adam. Say, Adam. He gave authority on the earth to Adam and to Eve. Amen? Not to angels. Not to paper, not to animals, but to people. And therefore, he decided that people will do the thing. Amen. Now, we know that Satan came and stole the authority from, us, from Adam through Eve. The whole deception story, we were sowing seed of doubt into our heart. And she came with the doubt to, to, to Adam. And, they, and uh, when he partook of the fruit, um, trouble. Amen. And the moment he did that, Authority that God has given on earth, um, Satan got hold of. That's why the earth looks like it looks today. The earth is actually a big mess. You go into nature, you enjoy nature, you see the old rotten tree. You go, oh, beautiful. It's a curse. That's why the tree is rotten. God made nothing ever to die. The first thing that died was the little animal that God slaughtered to cover Adam's shame 
And that blood was paying for his sin. Nothing before that, not even a tree, not even a leaf ever died before that. Satan is the author of death. The, now, the earth did not belong to Satan. The authority on the earth was not Satan. So death was not at all, at all evident or resident on the earth. Only life. Huh? You know, it's hard to think. Animals didn't kill one another. The Bible says in heaven, a lion will eat together with the ox straw. Have you seen a lion eating straw, my friend? Huh? The Bible cannot lie. No one will harm on my holy mountain. Amen? It's amazing. Today you look at the earth. You look at programs. I love nature programs. You see the shark attacking this one, eating the seal. You think God created that thing like that? I mean, that thing, you look in his eyes, he's a devil. You think God created him like that? He didn't. On this earth, there was no death at all, not a sign of death. Death was not resident on this earth. There was no evidence of corruption, death, or decay on this earth. But when Satan was, was hauled out of, out of heaven, and he was found on the earth, he could do nothing to the earth. Although he was on the earth, he could do nothing to the earth. Because he was not the one to rule the earth, but Adam. Then Adam gave that authority away to Satan after Satan has deceived him. I want to say, like only Satan can do. I tell you, Satan is a deceiver. He can deceive the best of people like Job even, and even like Noah. He deceived Noah into cursing his son. You think God wanted to curse that son? You think it's a curse of God that came on that son? It was the curse of Noah, not the curse of God. And praise the Lord. When Jesus died on that cross, all those curses got broken. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. Amen. So if today people reason, well, who was the son that was cursed, etc., etc.? And people speak as if it was God's curse. It was not God's curse. It was Noah's curse. Noah, in his anger, made a mistake and cursed his son. No one in his right mind will curse his own son. He made a mistake. I mean, when you're unhappy, you say certain things that you should not say. Satan needs to be very careful. God protect you. That you don't say nothing in anger. Because those words are used by Satan. You are angry at your son. You are angry at your neighbor. You say something like, oh, he's going to act. Those words of anger belong to Satan. He rules in those words. Pray, Lord Jesus, grant me grace not to say anything in anger, not to serve the spirit of anger in Jesus' name. That curse that Noah has cursed his son with was not the curse of God, but the curse of Noah. Amen. If it was a curse of God, it could not be broken. But now it was the curse of Noah that he said in his anger when he woke up and he, he, he knew what his son has done. Now that son also, you know, he, he, he laughed at his father. He should have covered his father. He made a mistake. Satan is we all make mistakes. And Noah in his anger cursed that son. It was not God's curse. It was the curse of Noah. Why did he curse his son? He made a mistake. He said something in anger. Pray, Lord Jesus, grant me grace. When I'm angry, I'll keep quiet. In Jesus' name. You know, those things that you say in anger is very strong. It's very difficult to reverse them. Why? Because Satan rules and reigns in anger. A man's anger does not lead to righteousness, but to sin. Pray, Lord Jesus, grant me grace never to say something when I'm emotional, emotionally involved or angry in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord God, whatever I said in the past, in anger, I break that power. I break that power in Jesus' name.
I will only bless those around me. Say to God next to you, you are meant to be a blessing. You are only meant to be a blessing, not to be a curse. Say to God next to you, let no curse come from your mouth. No curse from your heart, but only God's blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, give the Lord a hand. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why Jesus came to break every curse. Pray, Lord Jesus, thank you for your blood. The message I got this morning for you is that song also. If it wasn't for the blood, I will be dead. Say to God next to that blood. That blood break every curse. There's not a curse that can stand before that blood. Amen. There's not a curse that can stand before the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, you're going to break the things that you've set in anger. anger. The things you set in emotion, you're going to break it. The things that you said, you're going to break it in Jesus' name. Because the blood of Jesus is available. Give Jesus' hand for his blood. <laughs> Say to God next to you, if it wasn't for the blood, I would be dead. But now the blood of Jesus is my power in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, God's going to reverse every curse and everything you ever said in anger or in emotion, the mistakes that you've made. Amen. And he's going to give you a sober mind in the name of Jesus. Say to God next to you, let nothing come from your mouth in anger or, or wrong emotion in Jesus' name. Say to him, when you are angry, be quiet, be silent in Jesus' name. Give your Lord a hand. Pray with me, Lord Jesus, wherever I'm in the past, I set, set things in anger and the wrong emotion. Have mercy on me. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious mighty blood. And I reverse those things. I break those words. I declare them powerless. Spirit of anger, I will not serve you. You will not use me. Where you've used me in the past, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuke you in Jesus' name. Hands off my words. Hands off my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Spirit of anger. Spirit of wrong emotion. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord of all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give you a Lord hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are ready for victory this morning? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is done in heaven. It will be so. That's the interpretation. Give Jesus a hand. Something sometimes in the wrong emotional state or in anger or in a heartache, people say things. That they should not say. We all do those things. We say things we should not say. When you're in an emotional state, wait. Amen. Wait. Wait. And ask the peace of the Lord. When the peace of the Lord is on you, you've got wisdom. You've got a sober mind. Then you can speak. Give Jesus a hand. <laughs> then you can deliver sober judgment. Amen. When the peace of the Lord is reigning in your heart, you can deliver sober judgment. You can speak sober words. You can speak life in Jesus' name. Pray, Lord Jesus, this tongue of mine, this mouth of mine, let me speak the words of life, the words of blessing in Jesus' name. Shake the guy next to you and say, hey, listen now to me. You are meant to be a blessing. Never be a curse. Only be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus a hand. Woo! In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Victory is here. Every curse will be broken in the name of Jesus. There's not a curse that can stand before the blood of Jesus. Amen. That's why people wonder about that curse of Noah. It's broken. Jesus has paid the price. Give him hand. Amen. Woohoo! Amen. Woohoo! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your powerful blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give God hand.